Record high temperatures are being reached all over Montana and farmers and crops are feeling the heat. So with the high heat that we've been experiencing here the last week where we're in the 90s for at least at least 10 days or, or beyond, that means that our irrigated crops are gonna need more water. And the value of having irrigation uh, to be able to water it when we need it in the high temps uh, just helps the crops be able to grow and so that we're getting the most productivity out of our crops as possible. Due to the lack of snowfall in the Rocky Mountains, the Greenfield Irrigation District only received half the amount of water it normally receives. The biggest crop we have that it's going to really affect right now is our malt, malt barley. It, malt barley likes cool nights, um, moderate warm temperatures. When it gets above the 90s, that plant can't take in enough uh, water and so we can get high proteins, which you don't want in malt barley. Uh, you can get low plumps. So right now our goal is to keep everything wet and, uh, and uh, alleviate as much stress as we can. So our normal water allotment is two acre feet per 80 acres. This year we're down to a foot, uh, acre foot per 80 acres. Uh, the farmers on the bench have been doing wonderful with the reduction and trying to conserve water and use it wisely. Behind me, this pivot has been running now for about a week straight, just to be able to keep up with the high heat. Now, uh, with that, of course, I have a, a water allotment that I am using up very quickly. So the higher the heat, the more I'm, I'm using my water, and I'll have to turn my water off uh, here pretty soon. These farmers are watching their crops closely in this heat and know when the best time is to irrigate their crops, to maximize their use of every drop of water. In Fairfield, I'm Paul Sanchez for MTN News.